I'm Aaron Vector, and this is the July 30th, 2016 update of the Animatronics Experimenters Kit. Um, and uh, the last time we talked, we were working on uh, figuring out how to manufacture these modules, and uh, we had gotten the design pretty well firmed up. And so now you see these modules are encapsulated, just like they'll be when you get them. And this is a AA P24 module, one that's either a tone decoder or a tone generator. And in this slot of the kit, it's acting as a tone generator. See, and as, it, as I press this button, it makes that light turn on. And that light would operate something else, either a second head or whatever. This first one is tuned to operate the first head. And if you want to hear the tone, you can turn this knob so that you can hear it. Or you can turn the knob so that you can't hear the tone. That's for diagnostic purposes or for uh, perfecting your programming. So, um, also, <clears throat> inside this machine is a mini studio. You get a microphone and a microphone amplifier. And all of this is connected to your computer through the two cables, these two cords. One goes to your headphone jack and one goes to your microphone jack. So, uh, we're going to uh, record and program a show at the same time. So, to do that, I'll turn the tones all the way down and we will go into record over here on the editor. I can see that it's now moving and it's recording my voice. And when I press this button, it should be recording the tone that makes the head's mouth open. And we can pro program a show while we're talking in this mode, like this. I'll use a voice. Well, I see you're talking in a stupid voice. You're making me have a stupid voice. I don't want to have a stupid voice. Would you give me a smart voice, please? Okay. So, we rewind that, we go back to the beginning of that. We then play it back. I can see that it's now moving and it's recording my voice. So you've got an amplifier. And when I press this button, it should be recording the tone that makes the head's mouth open. And we can pro program a show while we're talking in this mode, like this. I'll use a voice. Well, I see you're talking in a stupid voice. You're making me have a stupid voice. I don't want to have a stupid voice. Would you give me a smart voice, please? All right, so that's the, uh, that's the way this works. Obviously, this uh, still could use some painting. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to deliver it painted or unpainted. I'm leaning toward sending you a painted mask. Uh, there will also be other masks available that you can put on your animatronic experimenters kit, such as a Billy Bob mask or a Fats mask. I'm right now working with artists to produce those masks to fit on the same head frame. And then there's other things you can do. You don't have to make a voice. You don't have to do a show and program it simultaneously. You can actually program a show to something that's already recorded, like a song or a show that you recorded and produced that you didn't program while you were doing that. And you do that simply by using the multi-track capability of your editor. On one track, you would put your show. And on another track, you would put your signals as you wish them to open and close the mouth. And using the editor, you can move those signals around to perfect the programming of your head. So I'll be teaching all of that in the Animatronics Experimenters Kit course that comes with the kit. And um, as you can see, it's getting closer. Uh, it's not quite ready yet. This is still my prototype. It's the first one. And uh, now I have to make a lot more of these modules for all of you guys and this chassis, which will already have the holes all drilled in it. So all you have to do is put in these sockets and then we'll wire it together. And as we're wiring it together, according to the video that I give you, you will learn how each of these modules work and therefore how you could expand this into multiple um, movements and uh, lots of movements in a character that you might develop for yourself. So this is a great way to start experimenting with animatronics and I'm excited about it. So stay tuned for the next update on the animatronics experimenters kit coming very, very soon.